police retrieve high powered rifle people family viewers subscribe or welcome welcome back to our brand new video if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe leave a comment and like this video hope everybody having a great night or day people have some brand new updates lots of updates people just stay tuned today and like up the video smuggling a firearm long considered the lifeblood of marauding criminal gangs as well as making of homemade guns and ammunition is to become a criminal offense under Jamaica law. The proposed new offense will be included into the revision gun ammunition act. So right now they are gonna upgrade the whole of the liar people. And the long long time they must see how the smuggling of firearm and them things that make everything escalate. Be a war, violence, criminal activities and you they wanna make illegal gun and they wanna see make it become a new offense they want to give them a bigger charge because they don't want nobody to make gun because making gun is not a trade and that they might try to take out of people but right now the criminal them they might go hard and they need a solution they need some help from the government government need to try to impose some measures some trades something people we have more stories people the police have found this high powered gun on a rooftop of a church in east kingston the JSF reports are that the M16 rifle with a magazine containing 148 rounds and a 9mm cartridge also found on the rooftop people. So you have 145, 148 rounds for the M16 and you have an next magazine with 9mm rounds were also found people by the JCF in East Kingston. So all church involved in a criminal activities right now. Why would a gun down a church stop right now, people? Why? So the man them are hide gun all in a church. Or somebody who pretend post to go to church is a church member of gun people. We have more stories, people. Second person has been detained in relation to the deadly overnight attacks on homeless people in the corporate area last month. Three homeless men were chopped to death in downtown Kingston and a fourth was killed in south southern st andrew so right now they have one more people a second person detained for this gruesome attack in downtown kingston and southern st andrew people so they might get leads they might get information about who probably can you know i mean assist them people and they have two persons now in custody in detain right now them you they them just very vicious they know some of the homeless man them Right now, people, homeless people up on the road that try to live a little life, even though them life upset people and them life feel away. But we have more stories. Lawmen assigned to St. Andrew North Police Division arrest four persons, including a female after an illegal firearm. An accusement were seized on Sunrise Crescent in Kingston 19 yesterday. So, right now, the police have arrest four persons, including a female lawman assigned to the and the North Division. So them police are just step out, get the information and go pick them up for them, including female people. So all female in a some dangerous, gruesome of people. Female them are do them thing to people. So right now it seems like the female might take up some big big task for them and the youth them to stop it. The female them to stop it and cool off of them thing right now. Right now people why so much crime why so much violence the prime minister the people need an answer from him we have more news people we have more updates detectives attached to the lucy police station in Hanover have come in a probe into the shooting death of a 17 year old and owning of his brother at their home in campbell's hill lawrence bay on tuesday so the police attaching Hanover, lucy they get a lot of more information you know what i mean people and they are glad full for it and come in the probe. Let me get some valid information from the valid persons. So right now, the 17 year old them dash him away and them gone home people. Let's call it out to the family and stay strong, the family of the 17 year old. You know I mean people, this one is very, very sad. 17 year old and his brother is also wounded. The mother must feel in it. I mean wants to give the mother special Condolences, you know, I mean, stay strong. This one is not easy for no mom at all to know that their son was gone down at 17 years of age. But we have no more news, people. Lisa Hanna, member of parliament for South East St. Anne, has called on the government to complete works on the Montague police station in St. Anne, which has earmarked it as a friendly, children friendly facility 
for children who come in contact with the law. So right now people use and I urge the government to complete the police station all the way in St. Anne for the children, you know what I mean? Because it's a friendly zone. Children go there and everything. Right now people. So much things to done in the country. But Lisa Anna is calling on the government directly to do this one. Complete it. They need it to complete for the children. For the children to be there. You know what I mean? Safe and sound. Because it's a friendly zone for the children. They probably go there to their homework or whatever the situation may be, people. But Lisa Anna is just urging right now the government to complete it, people. But right now, people, the place have so much things to do. Government have so much on their hands. And right now we have most of those people. Next is in Savalama, Westmoreland charged a woman with assault accusing bodily harm after she was seen in a viral video on social media assaulting a man. The incident took place on Sunday, February 7. Right now, all the way in Savalama, Westmoreland, the police charged this young lady, charged this lady for arming bodily harm to a man. Right now, the woman beat up the man. Wicked, wicked, wicked. People right now, them things that they really take serious in Jamaica. When a man beat up a woman, quick, quick o'clock, the man get locked up. You see how oh, from when? From February 7th, the man get beat up and them only lock him up. You know what I mean? And February 24th. People, you saw them things at work in Jamaica. As a man touch a woman, so quick for lock him up. Wait till the man get beat up. Take almost a whole month, people. But right now we have most of these people. We are sure farmers of the police commitment to them. The St. Mary Purden Larson unit went above and beyond to recover 335 coconuts that were stolen from a farm farmer on February 23rd. Right now, one man has been taken into custody in connection with the finding. People, right now, one man thief. 360, 335 jellies, coconut, and the police we are sure that they will be out in their full numbers. You know what I mean? So we are sure them that not much stealing will be taking place in the farming community and around surrounding areas, people. But what are your thoughts, people? I want to big up each and everybody for the premier. God bless you. I like the video, share it with our friends, people. The police them out in their numbers, people. Right now, not for just Pray right now, people, and just hope so the thief and stuff and everything kind of minimize. If it not stop, make it minimize then. Right now, the police are out in full numbers, operating and hunting for all these criminals, people. Right now, the police have arrested four persons, one female included, for a legal position of firearm people. And also, the man them find a big fat rifle for the church top people. M16 assault rifle people. What them big gun they do on church top? Oh, what? The man shoot after God in the church. And the man just bust it on the top of the church of the people. When the Christian them gone home in the middle of the night. People, right now, they are well interested people. What are your thoughts on those people? Talk to me right now, people, in the comment section. Why they put the gun on the church? They feel like say, the police them now go over the church. Go search the gun if they hear the gun over the church. And they just put it on the church of hope so God will protect the gun so the police don't go find the people. People want to talk to them because they want to be well interested. And also, the police them out in their numbers again, people, to arrest one more person in the last month, chopping and wounding of homeless in downtown Kingston and southern St. Andrew people. I mean, yo, every day something new come up, people. They might chop up homeless man, gonna find pan church top, all women get locked up. And the man is a thief, pee coconut. And then man them thief over 600 and add coconut. One man can scale so. Him flapping a one tree, people can see him. Climb up that tree real quick. He does a big half a coconut them. Probably might be for a living. No nah, one else do. But him one so fast, the police them retrieve all of the coconut them. Not even one them again for drink. Then take so much time for climb the tree. Pick them, take them down and sort them out properly if go sell them off. Probably to downtown market, probably to uptown market. Anywhere at all, you can get them for sell. You know that sell them to you. The police are reassuring all the farmers that we have you back. We have your box. We're not going to make the thief take over. And right now, people, them chop up the man. Them. Big gun found. Woman get locked up. 
and be a thing, people. But more for big up each and everybody from the premiere again. God bless you all. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate each and everyone over here. I mean, people.